Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastriyakal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You guys know we're not really a political channel, but it, when it comes to India and the country, we like to support it. So, And we know Prime Minister Modi is here in the U.S. Yes. And they're doing a big Howdy Modi celebration, and we're not able to go which we are sad about because it's too far away, partly. But we're going to celebrate here at home and hopefully get to see some of it um, on YouTube or on TV. We're really excited um, that he's going to give a speech. and But we also know that he's here because he's going to go to the UN. And we know that Prime Minister Imran Khan is also here to go to the UN. And, but his intention is to talk about Kashmir. And so we've done a few other things on um, Kashmir and and at least here in the U.S. we feel like the voice is not loud enough. And so yes. um, if that's the way it is here, you wonder how it is around the world. And so we would like India's voice to be loud and to be heard. And so we would like Prime Minister Modi to also speak about Kashmir, giving facts, you know, like Christine Fair, like the... Um, ambassador of India here in the U.S. did and um, you know just letting people know what the facts are and yeah. letting people decide and just having a loud strong Indian voice be heard so I'm very excited about Prime Minister Modi being here and to learn a little bit more about both of them we're doing this video that's about Imran Khan Prime Minister Imran Khan and Prime Minister Modi we found this and um, we're going to do that next yes start it up Round one. Prime Minister Imran Khan. Admitted to ball tempering. I would like you to admit that as captain of the team, if you are scratching it, it is, and the leader of, of the face. bowling fraternity yeah. on your Guilty. team, Mm -hmm. It is absolutely inevitable that others will. No, but I, you know, this, this is Wasim debatable. No, but this is, uh, again, uh, You brought debatable. those two along, didn't you? They came in your shadow. Yep, did I want... you or didn't you? Answer me. I did. <laughs> if yeah. you hadn't lifted a seam or scratched a ball, do you think you would have gotten as many wickets? Hmm, uh, I wonder. The Warwickshire second innings finished quite suddenly with Imran Khan taking the last six wickets in a very short space of time with some very accurate bowling. Uh, as my colleague and I left the field, yeah. I noticed that a six piece of the marking. ball was sticking yeah. up, and upon a closer inspection, it could be seen that this piece was the triangle of leather which joins the cross really seam and laugh, quarter right? seam. Yeah. The stitching did not appear to be frayed, but more as if it had been cut, and the piece which was proud of the ball was large enough to be able to hold the ball by it. Well, thrown uh, up into the air. First of all, I would say that he is a man enough to make a decision and admit that, you know, he is admitted that the ball tamping has been going on and he's done it himself. Yeah, he's what I'm saying that he is, did not yeah, visualize the effect like or, or the damage it will create to the country and to the Pakistan cricket. And he's the Prime Minister that, now? Well, my main concern is that, obviously, as Vashti <coughs> said earlier, that uh, Imran's been a fantastic role model to young people. Uh, but I find, I've actually seen, personally myself, boys, 12, 13, 14 year olds, actually getting hold of a ball and scratching it. And that worries me. Because obviously yeah. people like Imran, they have a responsibility to these young people. And when they do make these comments, make and obviously there's been a lot model. in the press as yeah, well, uh, the, the young people are naturally going to try to copy the idea. If you had the opportunity to go back in time, with, all, with the knowledge of, of the consequences of what you have said, would you say that again? I would not have mentioned the bottle top. In no, of course not. I wouldn't have mentioned that. Why would I say that now, knowing what I'd get myself in trouble? Yeah. Married three times, Koi's divorce. Known as a playboy and a politician. Mm, drugs. So you see the progression of his wives from a little bit more playboy side and then a little bit more extreme. Yeah. He compromised using uh, the, the blasphemy card against minorities, those that he vowed to support and to stand by. 
he is executing uh, orders. But knowing him uh, from a completely, uh, the, the fact that not only because of knowing him uh, through a personal relationship, but what has he ever stood by? And he has severe memory loss issues. Why did I marry the men that I married? And, right. and why uh, that should be something uh, that girls should be made aware of. And we are not made aware of those things. Even when we're well-educated from privileged backgrounds, certain things are not taught to us. And even corporate um, uh, women in the corporate sector, professional women can make mistakes. And so it's really my expose, not an expose about other people. Yeah, he's been threatening war for a while lately with yeah. uh, Kashmir. I just don't want to kill 10 million people. Does that make sense to you? I don't want to kill 10 million people. I have plans on Afghanistan that if I wanted to win that war, Afghanistan would be wiped off the face of the earth. It would be gone. It would be over in literally in 10 days. We are going to, that's right, we yeah, were paying 1.3 billion yeah. to Pakistan as aid. Strong uh, working for many years. The problem was Pakistan, this is before you, Pakistan was not doing anything for us. They were uh, really, I think, subversive. They were going against us. And uh, this is something we'll be talking I ended that about a year and a half ago, the $1.3 billion. And of course, they gave $150 billion yeah. plus $1.8 billion in green, green, beautiful cash. That's called many plane loads of cash. I think Pakistan would like to have some of that cash. So a lot of you don't know this, but uh, we dropped looks the largest yeah, non-nuclear yeah. bomb yeah. ever built. Trump in doesn't history. mess. Uh, we dropped it in Afghanistan. We were getting ready to make many of those bombs. This left a hole that was. It took out a lot of the a lot of the tunnels and everything else. But it left a hole in the earth that looked like the moon. It looked like a wow. crater from the moon. Still there. Uh, it was, nobody's ever seen anything like it. People heard it 15 miles away. They said, what was that? It shook the earth. Non-nuclear, the largest ever made by far. And they were going to make many of them. And I said, no, we don't have to, I don't want to drop that. I don't want to do that. Uh, so many easy solutions. That's actually the easy solution. And they'd come in and they'd say, let's have peace, but you don't have to do that. I think we're going to be very successful without having to Right. go that route and uh, Speak. we will be giving you good news about the two hostages in Look. a while. oh my god that's what he says what kind of hostages like why do you have hostages chokes up when he yeah. speaks about the country लेकिन मैं गर्व से कहता हूं कि जब मैंने गुजरात छोड़ा था तो ये जो मुझे मिलती थी चीजें मैं उसका लगातार ऑक्शन करता था पब्लिक में और ऑक्शन करके उससे जो पैसा आता था वो मैं गर्ल चाइल्ड एजुकेशन के लिए सरकार में डोनेट कर देता था और करीब करीब स्वच्छ भारत का इरादा कर लिया हमने देश से अपने ये वादा कर लिया हमने स्वच्छ भारत का इरादा इरादा कर लिया हमने देश से अपने ये वादा ये वादा कर लिया हमने हिंदुस्तान का अगर भला करना है मैं साफ इस बात को समझता हूं
President, can you clarify your position on whether you will mediate on Kashmir, please? Well, we spoke last night about Kashmir, and uh, the so Prime Minister so differently. Yeah. really feels he has it under control. I mean, they, they speak with Pakistan, and I'm sure that they will be able to do something that will be very good. We spoke something? about it last night as well. I just want to thank though, the Prime Minister. He's a great leader right here. A would you, would you allow him to have Does he have hostages? No, no, no. Yeah. Which one would you choose, right? Yeah. To be your Prime Minister. Wow, that really shows both sides, you know, if yeah. you had to choose, who would you choose? I know, exactly. I know what the Jan family would choose. We support Modi and we support yeah. India. And you can see the difference in character between yeah. the two in this video. You know, somebody who's, uh, you know, done some cheating in the past and womanizing and many other things on the list um, of things he promised and never did. And then somebody who dedicates his life to the country and is just trying to do things to make it better. Yeah. So and my was, favorite uh, part that he did was when he got his hands dirty. So he's like helping people and showing people what to do. He's like giving an example to people of especially of like the younger age like me or like, you know, someone younger so they can like learn from that and learn like it doesn't matter how big you are. You right. still have to help out. Everybody has to pitch in. Yeah. Right? It It's like your home, except it's your country. So if everybody helps clean up your home, you know, and then it becomes bigger. And, yeah, he is amazing. And, yeah. you know, hugging the scientists, that pretty much gets me every time, you know, that Chandrian launch um, was amazing. Yeah. And the fact that he went and then stayed and he then, didn't get angry. He no, he could have been scientists. angry. He could have not come at yeah. all. But the fact that he came and then stayed the to scientists. give a speech the next day. Yeah. And then knew the scientists. And he really hugged him. Yeah. So this really shows, you know, who you really want to be a leader. But this is really our way of getting some info out there. We really yes. just want to support India support Modi and you know when it comes to Kashmir have a voice be loud be heard and and only good things can come from this right yes so we hope you like this video and if you like this video don't forget to click that like button down below because the more you like it the more YouTube shows our videos and don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.